the start to the drive, I'll tell you boys. Visibility sucks. So we're gonna be young mad up with a set of floorboards here. We're gonna do a Outlander farm mudding floorboards install. Um, you guys might remember Young Riker. You'll have seen that by by the time this comes up. Uh, we went for a run with Roger and the boys for the weekend. Super unfortunate that Riker's uh, Outlander the straps failed and she come flying off on the 400 highway on the on ramp. So she sustained some damage, and uh, we're gonna go make Young Riker's uh, Outlander that much better than it was for the young lad, man. I can't tell you how sad this young man was. Uh, 14 years old, rides like the Dickens' boy. But, yeah, anyways, so we'll get back to you when we get up there with the trailer loaded up with wheels and tires and some parts I got to drop off, and uh, we'll get out doing an install video. And we're here, boys, we're at the shop. Oh, look at you, you already stripped the floorboards off for me. Oh, you guys are awesome. The rad's pressed in. Have we still the flat tire on there? Is that yeah. why? Yeah. Put the bars on. I took it through the field and it goes. You found another set of bars. Yeah, okay, right on. Bars, so okay, good. All right, so yeah, we need to get a tire on it that's proper. Uh, 30 inch silver back and an old set of ITP rings. All right, well, glad to see you got the back bumper off it so it's not pulling or pushing the plastics anymore. The green machine, which is now looks like it's dubbed the mud cricket. Yeah, that's kick ass. It's only been trail driven once. All the bushings have been replaced. Fresh bushings, the works. We put limiter straps on now. One of the axles coming out. But yeah. We had an issue with that. That's right. Looks just good. Doing a little bit of vinyl and she's good. What's the price on it, Rush? 35K. 35? You let her go for 35? 35 is the number and that's yeah. the hell of a deal. Yeah, there's more than that in it. That's for damn sure. Dino Jet, Power Vision. Check ass. Get a hold of the boys down here near you, Tyler. You want to buy this rig, boys? She's ready to rock and roll. Look it up a Got her hardware down there with a couple stickers by the looks of it. Yeah. Yeah, 2019 examples. This is for the inner fender for the older model bike. We won't need that. Yeehaw! All right, we'll do some unwrapping. Oh yeah, boys, we can customize these properly for this bike. Now, every one of these boards, they're all bent by hand, so there's always some tweaking, but with this one here, I like to set that groove in there and then twist it around. It makes it a lot easier when trying to set set them up and you're just gonna set into place like so important thing to do here is not to bolt down here before you get everything in place and we'll drill our holes line up our plastics and then we'll come back and we'll tighten up these let's get a look at the other side too see how it's gonna fit up before I bother drilling any holes I want to make sure and then he'll come back after and we're just gonna trim this out he can choose whether or not he wants to come across and cut all these tabs off, which a lot of guys do. I, I would myself. That looks like we got lots of meat on all three of those. This front one though, because of this whole thing being shoved forward, it's going to be tricky. We'll drop these loosely in there, and that way it holds this positioning back and forth, so I kind of know where I've got to push and pull and bend my plastic. Every bike takes some manipulation. Every bike's a bit different. And you never know what these are jigged or fabbed off of. Slap a washer on her, slap a nut on her. Cuff that yeah. Sure. Yeah, it. I should have it on. There. Thank you. Yeah, to keep this angled in, I slide one right in here once we pull the plate like that. That looks nice, boys. Got dust on her, but yeah, they look so sharp when they get all cleaned up. Get a nice fresh set of power quarter boards. And they take an ass kicking too. Yeah, see. So this side of the bike really took less grunt as far as the rad relocate the hit. And that's sort of explaining why right away this side's lining up nicely. Fit nicely with the curvature there though. So yeah, aside from uh from hogging some holes and bolting these babies up. They're just about done. It really is that easy. Let's take a look at the new foot pads. Looks a lot better. Sure does, eh? Yeah, look at that. You could keep your stock pegs with the Outlander if you wanted to. If you wanted them to run all the way out and have that canter, then that's an option. Jeremiah, come back? Yeah. Well, his son is still here. I assume he's probably going to come back for his son at some point. Right, boys? 
<laughs> I've already got three. Not that you're not a good young lad. Probably better behave than mine. Yeah, we did. That's basically all there is to it. Now we just gotta go back and tighten off. Floorboards are installed. Anchor up the back. Then we'll let lads loose on his tires here and see if we can't get these uh, silverbacks making this thing look a little bit meaner. Say there are more brackets here. So for guys who want to use the extended to keep their inner fenders, you've got these two long bolts here. You mount them in here, one and two, and they're squared. So it comes out and allows that threaded area because there's a gap here for guys who keep their inner fender. So you end up having this space. So you need something to take up that space. So that's what those anchor bolts are for. a little more natural with the 30 inch tire on it, right boy? Got the old muck off spray and I can smell that just like bubble gum. Yeah, now you'll be able to get in there and clean up that engine too. Uh, looks so much better, bud. Oh, she looks tasty. Later, boys. Got to meet up with a couple buddies here from uh, one, of our, one of our buddies, Jenny. Boy, come back. Is down in Orano and it happens to be along the way, so... Segway Canada's having a dealer convention to shop in the address, so we got her punched into the old Google Maps here. So we're gonna pop in there and see what's uh, see what's shaking at the old Segway headquarters. How the hell does guy go from a rusted out old Ford to the coolest damn rig in the whole freaking lot, boys? I don't care if you got a Mercedes AMG next to me, man. I'd rather be driving this Cummins. Hell yeah, dirty old whopper. Well, boys, we're making her just in time. Here we are in Baltimore, old Ontario. Hopefully we're in the right spot. Welcome to Segway's inaugural 2021 dealer conference. Well, shit, boys. Welcome we are. Check it out. Check it out. How's it going, brother? That looks pretty cool. I'm looking for Jimmy. Jimmy? Jimmy. With boy, Quebec. Jimmy? Uh, I don't know Jimmy. No? No. All right, we'll I'll have to find him. Yeah, what is his, his company, dealer, or...? Uh, Escape. Ah, okay. Out of I Quebec? Uh, I didn't see him the last minute, so... No? All right, well, I'll give him a text or something. Where should I park this it thing? Lots of rain this weekend. Yes. Hey, you guys. Awful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice weekend. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Cool. Cool. They got him located. I'm just going to go spin around here, boys. Then we're gonna come back and take a look at some of these segways. Check it out, what a setup. That's awesome, eh? First peek at the villain, and this one is the hybrid. It is a pretty killer looking unit. Big electric motor off the side, on the back, over top of the rear differential. How it ties in, I don't know, but you can see the motor here. All the engine is for, it's like your yeah. extended range version, yeah. it's just the power of the you batteries. You guys recognize this lot, eh? Julian here, our buddy from uh, Adrenaline Junkie Prodigy. Hey man, I've been wanting to make it. <laughs> I know, we've been trying to get out for a ride, guys, honestly, but schedules are ridiculous, and I know you're in the healthcare industry. Your last year's probably been oh, pretty man. insane, but no shit, eh? But this is killer, man. Yeah. So nobody's laid their hands on this one yet. No, uh, I don't think the power cells are in it yet. That's what he was so saying, okay, okay. So the regular, they have a regular model here that's just gas power? There's three versions from my understanding. I'm no three pro. versions, yeah, eh? There's, um, there's like the regular 1000, just the gasser. Yeah. Then there's the, like the hybrid, and then there's the like extended range hybrid. Okay. So the extended range hybrid is this one, no CVT. The engine is simply there to power a generator. The generator powers the cells, the motor drives the machine, so it's always strictly electric. But you'll the hear the engine, engine running to power like. the generator. It's like a locomotive. 
you know, yeah, I imagine that the engine braking is going to be phenomenal. I have no idea. To regenerate and to, to put power back, in, like it, this is going to be killer, man. I have no man. idea, but there's lightning bolts all over it. <laughs> I know, man. Walk in and charge here. The other question where I was just thinking is, where are they hiding the battery? I, I mean, obviously, if this is a charging yeah, point, it goes in. Uh, it goes somewhere like in here. He was saying. So maybe like it's not. Drop the belly pan and, and, and okay. put it in there. I think the it's like a lithium battery pack. Because I figured so it would be pretty to big. Okay. It's like a. Oh yeah, sure it would be. Like yeah, that. yeah. So some things to overcome as far as shipping and stuff like that, but. Uh, I think that's the biggest hurdle, yeah. yeah, probably. Eh? Interior looks pretty mint too. Nice ergonomics. Like another one, it'll have like, it's supposed to have a touch screen. Okay. But there's like supply issues, I guess. So instead of okay. like making them wait, they kind of piece together like a, sure. this isn't like a, a no, production model. No, this is so sort of. one in North America. Yeah, so it's basically still the concept one that they're kicking around prototype. everywhere. Yeah. Prototype, yeah, that's right. That's killer, man. Awesome. Freaking right. Shall we get a drink? Yeah. I should get a drink. I'm dry. Yeah, yeah. I'm dry. We need a drink. Maybe grab something to eat here. Yeah. That's and what, that's uh, the plan. And uh, we'll throw ahead. some waders on because you can't walk anywhere. This place is like a cesspool. <laughs> yeah. Rained all fucking weekend, boys. Yeah. Look at them all. They're everywhere. Look at all kinds of them. There's a short little model there. There's a red and white one right there. That looks pretty cool, eh? Snarler AT6 SE. That's pretty neat, man. What a funky look. So it's a single cylinder engine, I do believe, from what I'm being told. And it's a 570, so. Oh yeah, it's a cesspool here. Look at it, she rained on the boys, and she got done muddy. Look, that one over there is nice and clean. Very cool. You guys got a cool setup here. All right, we'll be back. Gotta leave the keys in them. You get a couple drinks and you'll never remember where the hell you put it. It is awesome trying out new stuff. And it's cool to see new stuff come to market, man. Well, let's just throw the key on and see what she says. Ooh, look at that. Hey, check that out. Haha, <laughs> they got a movie. Killers, the Segway Fugelman, boys. Yep. Okay, key is on. Press button, Start button. and turn. What is this? Your brake? Parking brake? Is that a parking brake? Covering this with you. Are you? Okay, you don't know. I thought you already had one of these. No, it's the uh, first time I saw one. Oh, okay. First time I ride one, first time I saw one. Oh, this is exciting, man. This is so new for I'm, both I'm, of us. I'm giving my life to you. <laughs> What's the engine? 105 HP, uh, it's a two cylinder. One so this has got a twin in it and it's 105 horsepower. Yeah, exactly. It's got the power of my Renegade. Exactly. Yeah. On a big bike. That's pretty cool. Okay, so there's our diff lock. Uh, right there. Watch. Oh, hello. Like your, like your truck, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got signal lights. You got four way hazards. Yeah. yeah. I wonder how you turn that on. Yeah, it's too, it's too sophisticated for us. <laughs> Julian. Oh, we turned How do you on. turn the screen on? I don't think there is a working one. I think it's display. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess so. Grab an ATV, dude. Well, maybe we should try a lap first in this, and then grab an ATV. Yeah, we try to run with that. Yeah, if you want. I'll try this thing out, man. It's 105 horsepower. Not 44. <laughs> oh, you bring it, bud. We got you. He's not going to lose our asses in that. No way. <laughs> Keep up with the snarler. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> come on now. I'm oh. buckled. I'm buckled, bud. Challenge accepted. Uh oh, we got a limiter. What's going on? No seatbelt. Oh, right there. Oh yes. Yeah, Is it your seatbelt? I'm, I'm. No, but the parking brake was on. Are you sure? No, no, something's wrong. Ha! Ah, when he plugged into the center one, it went out. <laughs> Whatever works. Whatever, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, low beam, high beam. Right on. Let's do this running for all day so you don't want to trail one off. Yeah, I'm sure he does. Is this mine? Who is this? We turned it off for now. Who is this it though? I'm gonna ride. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's then mine. you guys can swap. Okay. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! 
Let's plug all the seat belts in. All right, we got her, boys. We got her now. How's her braking? Pretty good. Hey, a little bit of a fish tail. <laughs> the Segway Fugleman, boys. Whoa! I feel like the seat just slid ahead on me. Why is my seat sliding? We don't want that. Lock in. There we go. I think I got her. Holy shit. <laughs> I see why he jumped out. Probably a smart decision, bud. Nice little trail. Good suspension. Good suspension exercise. <laughs> so again I think this is going to compare more to uh, like a small Defender being as it's kind of their work machine but it's pretty snappy whoa, 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 whoa. and she's light in the ass which is cool oh it's greasy in here we better be careful don't want to hit any trees the boys won't invite me back big log big log Oh wow, is that ever soft? <laughs> she ate up that tree, bud. She ate her up. Oh, I just I just put it in low 4x4, bud. I don't know how to drive it on ATV. <laughs> Maybe we should switch. <laughs> this thing works pretty good. It's not bad. Not bad. It's light enough in the ass end, that's a lot of fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. You're breaking it in right. Oh buddy, I smashed the living shit out of that tree back there. Poor tree. It's really soft. What's all these buttons do? Oh, well you know what that one does. That's a kill button. That's our hazards. What is this? Is that Sport Nico? I just found Sport Mode. Oh, you were in E? Yeah. Oh, right on. This gets better. <laughs> you got some wheelies now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right off the gate, she's got more. <laughs> she's got more. Oh, throttle response. My God, is the pedal ever soft? Like, it's pretty, uh, pretty responsive. For a little twin. Where the hell did you go, buddy? Oh, turning radius. Look at that. What a slice. <laughs> oh, right down this tree, though. Look at that. We got pooched. We got pooched. Fuck yeah, America. We got her. Where'd you go? What are you doing? Hitting trees? <laughs> Oh yeah, she unloads better on the sport mode. These guys are holding me back. Holy shit, look at him go. She pushes out in the front though, I noticed that in the corners. Woo, feels a little tippy. <laughs> oh yeah, I like it. Oh yeah, how's a guy like me gonna get under that? I don't know if we can, boys. I don't think we can. You're only as shafted as you allow yourself to be, right? Those two trees though, those are gonna be tougher. Let's try it. Oh, that's a 
monster in us. <laughs> yeah, we did. What was that? What was that? <laughs> Ignore it. Just keep going, boys. No problem. We'll bottom it out, but we're good. Move them starters, boys! <laughs> He'd be thinking he'd be losing me. He's not losing me, boy. <laughs> oh, we got mud. No problem. Oh, that's a big log. Oh, she ain't skipping a beat, man. I wonder what's on this thing for tires. <laughs> oh shit! What the hell? What the hell? He's getting out there on the ass, man. This thing keeps you really nice and clean. How are you liking that thing? I honestly, first impressions is pretty friggin' fun, bud. You know what? They're all pretty fun. Well, uh, it really it's is. Small. It's hard, yeah, it's hard not to like something, eh? Yeah. Well, sport mode makes a big difference, oh, yeah. bud. <laughs> you almost got me. You almost did. <laughs> we? We're in the middle of nowhere, man. That's where we are. I'm impressed with the steering. She turns tight. She's pretty damn soft. Like, this is a... Very pushy machine. I don't know how they got the suspension dialed, but it's pretty damn good. I'm impressed. Now we'll have to try out the four-wheeler, boys. There's a mud hole. What? Look at that. Don't go in there. Well, get in there, bud. Get in there. Oh. <laughs> This thing, uh oh, what happened? Oh, oh, right. Aha, I got gotcha. you. That's oh, the problem. See, you ever lucky you didn't roll over in there? Heads up. This guy's the Oh, you're on a rock. There's a rock there, right behind you're your tire. You're in a better spot than you were. Oh, shit. All right, let's pull it out. Drop on. Yeah, you got a big yeah, rock so there. You should have left her where you were. Son, I think... Jeez, I could get up that. Oh, you could, Is but just... Is you boys in Nova Scotia ride? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on your side? Yeah. Is it a real winch or is it just like... You should suck for show? <laughs> that I just messed with it. Like <laughs> Hold on, that Holy shit. Like that. That's some super light. Why? What's yeah. going on? Because it's got to be pulled in properly. Whoever put this winch in last... Yes, found out. Right? Found out. It's fine, though. Don't fuck with it now. No, Here. you have to pull it in properly. What? Uh, oh, buddy. I'm like going to take off. should never come out. Now whoa, whoa, pull your whoa, winch whoa, whoa. in. Whoa, you're it's out. You're out. out. Don't pull. Don't pull. Yeah, you're you going to... You can't go past this. You'll yank it right out no, of the fucking it'll, winch. No, it's got a lock on it, but you have no, to... No, 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 no. Just don't pull it anymore. Go away. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. on it. That's fine. Don't pull on it. Oh, well, it's on that side. Yeah, okay, now pull. Here's the red. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Hey, man, I'm having a shit ton of fun in the fugue, man. Sport mode made that thing come alive, man. Hey, it's good. Oh, it actually... You try that villain when you get a chance. Oh, I bet. Yeah. yeah, but I was just happy to see that it actually got into somebody's hands pretty quickly that was going to actually drive it. Yeah. And tell yeah. it like it is. Yeah. No, it worked well. Yeah. It worked well. But it's like any machine, it's new, it needs to set the test of time, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No, no, you know, you don't get every, you don't get to check every box off the first, you know? But you know what? For a first hit, I think they did really well. Yeah, well, I can tell already just for a first time drive yeah, on a you unit like that. The ATVs, they're peppy, they're fun. Yeah, they're, they ride you're really nice. pushing that thing nicely. <laughs> oh, it works good. This would be a nice photo if we could see. I know, it's beautiful. Jimmy, let's switch. Okay. You try the Fugelman. Okay. It's in sport mode, so more, hold the hell more. on. <laughs> and I figured it. Yeah. 
you have to keep the center one plugged in. They must have the harnesses yeah, yeah. backwards. Is the center one is this you? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. That's good, yep. Yeah. Okay, let's find our way around this thing. That feels weird. Is that a UKM? Yeah, but 2022 Snarler. Is that your diff lock? But why is the icon not changing? So it they never, the front wheels never go away, the diff engages, look. Oh, you barely see, okay. Yeah. Okay, it, so I, I am in two-wheel. if you rip a wheel off, they will go away. It looks like it's in four by four, but it is in two-wheel drive, okay. Is that a two-up? It's got rear diff lock, so I think, does that one have it? No, yeah, it's, it's got a diff lock switch. No, that's, I have two-wheel drive turf mode and diff lock, you don't have that. So oh yeah, thanks for rubbing it in, bud. <laughs> I need every advantage I get to keep up with you. Yeah, let's go, let's go. <laughs> We're on a wheeler, boy, and it feels weird. Okay, so it's just a little single. You can just hold it there. <laughs> First rip with a gentleman trumpy broad, man. Yeah, that's great. Although we gotta get out on the side by side, that's for sure. Whoa! <laughs> It works great. This thing is soft, but responsive. Yeah, holds good. Oh, you're not getting rid of me, bud. <laughs> yeah, Julian's a straight sending guy. I love it. <laughs> we got air, boys, and it's soft. Super soft. Whoa. suspension is awesome isn't it it's totally so like it's not even it rides very nice though doesn't it, it jumps very nice yeah like it really has great suspension it really does the so, pull the pull's not there but you you know that the 570 it's a single 570. yeah but in the forest and stuff like that more power almost gets you in trouble sometimes i totally. almost hit i know you did that <laughs> right on your ass where the hell the rest of them go i don't know this always happens this is our pace. <laughs> I'll tell you that Fugelman though, it's got some response. It's right there. Did you try that? Yeah. On the sport mode, it actually handles great. Hey man, that goes really well, man. I yeah, told you, eh? That bike goes good. Yeah? Yeah, it's fun, eh? Yeah, man. Dude, it's yeah, under no, 10 grand. It's 9,500 bucks for this thing. The suspension is what really impresses me. Yeah, yeah. It's super soft, it takes the hits. And it doesn't even feel like it's coming close to bottoming out. No, it doesn't bottom out. Right there it is. Okay, so this brake on the left. Yeah, it's supposed to be the parking brake. It's not doing anything on the trail. Yeah, I don't think they're adjusting. No, it's not a brake. Yes. The right brake okay. controls both brakes, front and rear. The foot brake controls front and rear. Okay. Like on an old first gen Renegade. Okay. And then the left brake doesn't actually control your brakes. It's literally a Oops. parking brake. We should park. park. Everything except that hybrid is CVT. Okay. Um, from my understanding, I talked to Mac from Life Outdoors. Yeah. And he put a Can Am belt on at 570, like just that standard Can Am belt, like the yeah. Commanders and everything runs. Yeah. And he put an upgraded primary in it, 28 inch XTR 370s. I was ripping it earlier. You saw me on it when, when you pulled up with the rattery location. Okay. Man, it's planted. Really? Just eh? the primary and the Can Am belt. And well, he said the uh, thing is like. Night and day. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. It's not too bad, actually. I actually, I like this is this is nice. I actually was really impressed with that thing, that Fugelman. Uh, myself too. <laughs> like that actually quite impressed yeah, me. I, I just the got seating position's weird though. Yeah, it is very much so, especially to to be running that quick, right? Yeah. But it actually is better planted than I thought. And when I switched it over to Sport, it was immediately oh, yeah. a different it's, it's different good, throttle, uh, uh, you know, sensitivity. You figure out the S and the E, what that means. Yeah, you know, we have very much so. That has to be eco, and that has to be yeah. send it mode. <laughs> All right. Sure. Kind of 
kind of scary. <laughs> Look at this hill. You just want to see me eat shit. <laughs> you, you better go first. You better go fucking first. <laughs> Holy shit, the suspension sucked all that up. Yeah, you keep going. <laughs> we lost Jimmy. Yeah, that'll happen. Yeah. What's a low range grunt like? Looks like the lighting could be a little bit better. The base model has just like halogen lighting. That's probably half the reason though. Look at it, like they're blocked. Yeah. Oh. Now I'm never used to putting your foot on the brake to shift gears, but. I know, but, I know. There's, but, some, there's definitely like differences in this machine. The certain brands, they really want yeah. you to put your foot on the brake. Full sand. <laughs> Something's tight in my steering like. Oh, really? Looks all right. Yeah, your tie rod looks good. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Try the old off and on. Could have been a low voltage thing? Uh, no, I think off and on's Polaris thing. Is She's it? still tight. <laughs> Yeah, I bet. Like this. Not being very nice to it. So I'd say it's doing just fine. Well, I just looked down. I saw this thing only has 88 kilometers on it. Yeah, mine's got 79, and I put them there. I feel bad now. Jesus, just holding her to the bar everywhere. There's two ways to break in an engine, right? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> this thing just went up a notch in my books. You know why? Uh, the power steering just come back on. It's itself. <laughs> Oh, yeah, bud. That's my kind of unit. Yeah, it is, too. <laughs> ah, we should go back, maybe have a drink, brother, and then, uh, have a beer or and then I'll go deliver some tires. Again, though, you stay really clean on this machine. It's kind of like an Outlander. I haven't felt the belt slip or get wet. What was that? Did we break something? I heard something bad. Mine. <laughs> He's laughing his ass off. Yours or mine? <laughs> Let's find out. Well, couldn't have been too bad. I thought I heard something bad. I was two wheel driving that water full load. I know, I could tell. Yeah. <laughs> Your ass was trying to come around. <laughs> I think it might have been a stick come up and hit the machine. Yeah, absolutely. Give you guys a little light, but uh, the camera died on me in the middle of the trails out there with Julian from uh, Adrenaline Junkie Prodigy. Check out the YouTube channel if you want to see some kick-ass side-by-side -side content. He's got some of the best on YouTube for sure. Overall, I think the thing I'm most impressed with was the suspension. Like it really takes a knock. And yeah, it stood up to the punishment very, very well. So we sent that snarler a little bit hard there. I thought I was gonna eat shit, but that suspension saved my ass. I didn't know there was a big, huge bump coming, but I sent her hard, boy. Way later than I should be, that's for sure, boys. But we had a good day. Really enjoyed myself. Thanks again to the boys, Mark, Jimmy, Julian. All the boys back at the shop. Alright guys, BTB signing out. Another long night. Cheers.